how to obtain the most informative radiographs. I wish in 1971, 72, 73, 74, that someone could have taught me the basic fundamentals of beam orientation as it relates to the horse's foot, as it relates to radiographs, as it relates to what I'm looking for. I didn't learn those things in vet school. To my knowledge, they still don't teach them today because I struggle with a lot of radiologists that I work with that really don't see things like I do. But beam orientation is so important. It's unbelievably important. Failures, if you're working on horses without veterinarians, you can't deal with pathological problems. You can't learn the rocker process without radiographs. You have to work together. Veterinarian, working with failures, you gotta realize most of them have no ability to read a radiograph at all. They've had no, no teaching, no knowledge of the subject. So you have to help each other with your deficiencies so that you can do a better job. The mechanics of radiation is, is quite interesting. And we're gonna draw this so that it sticks in your mind because when you set a foot on a block, you set a machine down, you need to know precisely what that image is gonna look like before you hit that button. And before you've actually taken a radiograph of the foot, your physical exam, which we're gonna get into later, should tell you what that radiograph's gonna look like. If you're taking radiographs to say, like, like old Gump 